Let's get some more reaction now to those findings from that panel. We're joined virtually from Cape Town by the DA, Siviwe Kwarube. Siviwe, thank you so much for your time this evening. I see there's quotes um, from the National Assembly Speaker, Nosiviwe Mapisa Kakula, who's hailed the work of the panel as a milestone in South Africa's maturing constitutional democracy. And of course, speaking about the involvement of all political parties in getting this panel off the ground and uh, providing all of the information for those investigations. Uh, I'm I'm sure you are less interested in um, this being a milestone and more interested in what will now happen now that these findings have been made public. Yeah, good evening and uh, good evening to your viewers. Look, I think it is indeed a milestone because uh, forever we are consistently trying to make sure that the constitution and the 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 obligation that is placed on the National Assembly to hold the executive to account is indeed something that uh, the, the the parliament uh, does uphold. So it is indeed a milestone that we managed to have an independent panel that came to these findings. But Masal, the other issue which is more important is that the, the panel has now made some serious findings against the president. Um, in as much as we've had presidents in the past that may have been, you know, in contravention of the constitution, depending on who you listen to. But this time around, we've got an independent panel, which was established by parliament, which has now established that, in fact, there may be uh, concerns around the president having broken the law. And so this is quite serious. And this is uh, <clears throat> these are some grave findings against President Ramaphosa. But what that now means is that we've got to look forward to the next couple of days in Parliament. Um, we've got the report of the Section 89 uh, independent panel serving in Parliament on next week on Tuesday. That then means now that it is absolutely important for the House to apply its mind on whether or not it will accept the, the recommendations. And our view is that it will be in extremely difficult, even though the ANC has repeatedly proven itself to close ranks in times like this. They did so during President, Rama, during, uh, President uh, Jacob Zuma's term. And um, and many people are saying they'll do the very same thing and they'll vote against the establishment of a of an inquiry. But one would think that when an independent panel makes uh, findings that the the president may have broken the law, uh, at the very least, even in the midst of political interests, that you know the ANC would at least find it within themselves to be loyal more to the constitution than their uh, political interests. And so I hope that when the matter comes before the House, that we will see an unprecedented uh, and overwhelming support of the fact that this matter must be inquired and must be looked into by an, 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 an inquiry, uh, by um, an impeachment inquiry process. Uh, quite interesting that you uh, speak about what the ANC has historically done in situations like this, because just before you came on air, and you might have missed it, we had a soundbite from the NEC member, Nkosa Zanad Lamini Zuma, who appeared on JJ Tabane's show tonight, Power to Truth, and she said that it's time for President Cyril Ramaphosa to step aside. Now, of course, all of this, there are various factions within the ANC and the politics um, that goes with it ahead of their elective conference. Do you think that there's space for the ANC then to surprise you when it comes to the situation um, come uh, next uh, Tuesday, the 6th of December, um, when that debate uh, will kick off at Parliament? Look, I, uh, for my sins, I am an op uh, 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 forever optimist. Um, and so I do hope so. Um, I hope so because, um, Marcel, this is beyond the ANC. Um, and regardless of the differences that I have with that political party, I'll, I have always hoped that there are people within the ANC who are at least constitutionalists. Um, and who are at least going to uh, seek to uphold the constitution, regardless of their party interests. Um, and so I think it will be extremely difficult, uh, in my view, for any political party to simply say, we're going to vote against a recommendation of this nature. Um, and so uh, one of the things that the Democratic Alliance has done as of this afternoon, uh, Marcel, is that we've written to the speaker 
to request her that in fact the the vote uh, on tuesday not be done in the uh, traditional way that we have done over the past three years where a chief whip will stand and essentially read out the number of the party members that are voting for or against a motion we have written to the speaker to say because of the magnitude of the max and i think now after having seen we did this before even having seen the outcome of the independent panel that uh we're of the view that you know we've written to the speaker to say that we've got to have a roll call where each and every member of the national assembly all 400 of them um vote individually uh on the on, on the report and the recommendations of the report and the reason why we do that is because while it may take long and people may say this is going to be an arduous process but the reality is that we are hoping that there are individuals within the ANC who, regardless of their party political interests, which we are, we we are not interested in that. We're not interested in the in the, in the ANC uh, Congress that is coming up. But what we are saying that we are hoping that there are people within the ANC who still value uh, what the constitution says, and that if their head of state has in fact broken the constitution. Uh, or contravene the constitution, then you would have some people stand up and, and vote accordingly. So we have requested that from the speaker to ask that an individual votes be cast and that they not be based on just party groupings. Uh, and so we are hoping to receive a response from her in the next day or so, so that we can, you know, we can see uh, who is, who, and, and the public can see who of their public representatives will hold, will uphold the constitution and those who will not. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Fascinating developments expected over the next few days then. The DA is Sivyue Kwarube joining us virtually there from Cape Town. We thank her for her time this evening.